Hi, Adam speaking from binoculars.guys.com. Uh, many of my uh, subscribers and uh, want to know the difference between uh, poor, uh, uh, roof prism binoculars and poro prism binoculars, and that's why I decided to record this video to help uh, to help you choose the right one. So basically speaking, uh, let's talk about the, the differences uh, between these two binoculars. Poro prism binoculars have eyepieces that are closer to each other, while objective uh, lenses have larger distance. You see the difference, for example, between pore and roof. You see the the, the difference is very uh, the dis the distance between uh, a large uh, objective lens are larger. You see, and uh, roof prism binoculars. When it comes to roof prism binoculars, like this, they have uh, two barrels aligned with eyepieces, as you see. Uh, aligned and objective lens that are closer to each other than in, when you see in poor prism binoculars. But uh, most people want just to know uh, is there any difference? Uh, to be honestly speaking, the the difference in the Im image quality because when you are, when we buy binoculars, we the, the most important thing why the reason why we buy binoculars we want to see the clear crystal clear image high quality image bright and color with full with full colors so uh, the difference uh, i would say there is not uh, such a huge difference but there is some difference for example thanks to in 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 uh, poor prism binoculars uh, the the image uh, because the reason uh, you see that the distance distance between the eyepiece and the uh, objective lens is bigger than in roof prism binoculars that is why when you look through a uh, poor prism binocular you see the image which is more uh, 3d uh, 3d is the, the image has some 3d dimensional uh, aspect you see for example in this uh, binocular image is a uh, let us say i would say flat image but in poor prism binoculars the image has some Telescopic effect like a three-dimensional three image. Not so. Not so. The difference is not so huge because uh, um, some people may think that when you look uh, in in poro prism binocular, the image uh, looks like in th in 3D TVs, but it's not like this. There is some difference. For example, I personally speaking, I like the image quality in poro prism binoculars. Uh, it is uh, to my eyes for my eyes it looks uh, more interesting than in roof prism binocular but believe me the difference is not so huge so this is the first difference between uh, por uh, poro prism and the roof prism binoculars when it comes to the ease of you ease of use the you see i think uh, roof prism binoculars they are more compact you see uh, you see the construction of the binoculars roof prism binoculars they are more compact than poro prism binoculars and of course the uh, roof prism binoculars they are more lightweight than uh, poro prism binoculars that, that is why if you plan to buy a uh, lightweight binocular i think you probably need to choose the roof prism uh, binocular the next thing is that uh, let's see the advantages of poro prism. The advantage of poro prism, as I told you, the image has some 3D dimensional, uh, three dimension, dim dimensional aspect. Uh, poro prism binoculars they are cheaper than uh, roof prism binoculars, and uh, they are, this uh, the poro prism binoculars they can be used both from hand and on a tripod. So it it depends on you. The difference from roof prism binoculars is that uh, poro prism binoculars they are uh, a little bit uh, bulky, uh, w and when it comes to roof prism binoculars they are lightweight. Okay, and uh, also I think uh, also uh, one thing is important to mention is that when it comes to image quality, roof prism binoculars I think outperform. Uh, poro prism binoculars because uh, for example there are some uh, when it comes to roof prism binoculars you can buy for example binocular with ed glass ed glass means the image is very high quality without any uh, color infringements 
no no color no color aberration so the image is very crystal clear in when it comes to poroprism binocular you can hardly find a binocular which is has which has ed glass but when it comes to roof prism binoculars you can buy binoculars with standard glass or with ed glass that is why when it comes to image quality if you want to buy plan to buy uh, the highest quality image then i think you better choose uh, roof prism binoculars that is why uh, this was uh, some uh, things that i mentioned so again let us recap it if you want a uh, easy binocular uh, i'm sorry a lightweight binocular with the highest image quality i think uh, roof prism is the is is the best choice in my opinion but if you if you are on a tight budget you don't have a lot of money to invest in the optical instrument like binocular i think uh, you can buy uh, poor prism binocular with the same for example uh, magnification with the same qualities like a poor prism uh, roof prism but normally uh, poor prism binoculars they are cheaper roof prism binoculars they are more expensive poor prism binoculars they are cheaper that is why if you are looking for a cheap binocular i think then your best cho the best choice would be buying poor prism binocular if you if you are not on a tight budget and you are ready to invest maybe 150 dollars or maybe 200 dollars on uh, or even 300 dollars then i think you probably need to choose the roof prism so it really depends on your uh, on your purposes where you plan to to use your binocular at home or maybe when hunting or when traveling i think if you plan to travel a lot i think you you know you, you would it would be better to choose roof prism binocular because they are lightweight and the image quality outperforms normally uh, when it comes to poor prism binoculars because as i told you in roof prism binocular you can find binocular with ed glass with the highest uh, quality of optics uh, when it comes to poro prism normally poro prism binoculars are considered cheap binoculars that's why if you plan to, to, to travel a lot or plan to buy binocular for hunting or for bird watching uh, or for i don't know for general use and you are looking for a highest image quality then i think roof prism is the is the best choice for you if you are not on a tight budget then i think a poor prism is the is the best choice for you if you have any other questions please let me know in the comment section under this video and i will be happy to help you thank you for watching